gonna be watching the Daily Driver, the Ford Fusion with Wolfgang, Wristless Wash right here. And we're gonna be using our sprayer to, for the prep. Right here's where I already got the solution already made up. And then for a drying aid, we're gonna be using a Wolfgang uh, detail spray that we made. If you guys wanna check out that video up here, check it out after this one. And where we made our own detail and spray with the Wolfgang right here. So basically we can, one product, we'll be able to do two things, wash it and a drying aid to dry the vehicle. We already got our bucket already mixed up right here. And the directions basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna use one ounce per three gallons of water. This bucket right here is a little over four. So I, I put in close to two ounces. So yeah, almost close to two ounces pretty much. So if you could use a little bit more, it'd be all right. I guess the more the better. And uh, this stuff smells like a cotton candy too. It smells pretty good. And the detail spray works great too. So uh, let's see. So basically what a rinseless wash is, if you don't, you live in an apartment and you, you don't have the water, water hookup, this is a great way to clean your vehicle. But if it's really, really dirty, you're gonna wanna take it to a spray car wash before you use this product to knock off that heavy dirt. Um, instead of using those brushes at the car washes, you can clean it there and bring your bucket with this uh, rinseless wash and then wash it with hand washing it. It'd be a lot safer than using that brush. That's one way of doing it. Um, and if you, uh, in winter months too, it's great too. If you don't have the hose, this is one way to do it when it's a little chilly out. Like today actually is about 40 degrees. It's a little chilly, not too bad. We're starting to warm up a little bit. And, uh, well, before we get going too, if you first time here at the channel, our channel is about, uh, we go to car shows, we test out uh, detailing products. We're hobbyist detailers. Um, we like to enjoy doing it. And I uh, like to test out products. And plus we show car shows from the Detroit area and swap meets that we go to, auto swap meets, and a little bit of um, auto repair on our own vehicles too. So if you like that stuff, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, comment, like, appreciate it. And uh, so let's get going on this. We're gonna prep it first. I already have it all ready. So I'm gonna prep the whole vehicle first, then I'm gonna start in the top. But for the video, I'll start on the hood and do the and do the doors and that. It's gonna it's hard to hold the camera to do the roof, but you can see how with the spray to pre-prep, it's gonna help uh, minimize scratching it. And what's nice too is for your prepping it, whatever when you mix it up in your bucket, you take this and Take what's in your bucket and fill this up or you can make it separate but this thing preps it up pretty good without a garden hose pretty good i'll have the link too for uh bull products from amazon in the description if you use that link it helps the channel out we're able to pick up stuff we can try out wheels to try to clean those wheels up <laughs> oh anyone know that guy I might have to mix up some separate all right let me finish this up and then we'll get the washing Soak it up. I'm gonna have to mix some more up. See how this spray, how wet it gets? Pretty good. But I'm gonna go over it each panel. I'm not, I'm just pre soaking it and then I'll do panel at a time. Washing, we got the mitt soaking. Plus two directions that to soak it for a little bit. We'll start in the hood. We're gonna go back and forth. Look at that. It's almost like using the hose. Garden holes on it. Look how wet it. This stuff is pretty slick too. You can feel the slickness in the product. And plus, too, that pre-soaking to me is the way to go. I mean, I don't know. This is one way you could probably do it at a car show. 
your vehicle gets all dusty pre-soak it with this product and i got i'm I am using another bucket this vehicle is pretty dirty if you guys can see the dirt here you can see the dirt is pretty dirty i mean it's not thick dirt but it's it's got uh some nice dirt to it if you can see it like, like i said if you got real dirty vehicle the best thing to do is um spray it off with car wash See how I'll do a re each panel, I'll respray it, reprep it. So we'll try not to we'll get any scratches. You can use, do it this way or you can use a, a bunch of um, Microsoft mitts too. There's other videos on it, different ways of doing this. With the rinse and wash. I really like the rinse and wash. I think I'm going to start doing uh, testing out more products with the rinse and wash. You're using less water. I'm not dragging the holes all around. Especially if the vehicle's not that dirty. I got my second rinse bucket. And you're going to leave, see how you see the suds, you're going to leave that on here. And what you're doing as it's wet, let me do the windshield. And then as it's wet, you can, you dry a section at a time. And you could do it that way, especially if the sun's out. You don't have to worry about it uh, drying and spotting up on you. Or, one way to doing it too, if you want to do the whole vehicle, just keep prepping everything, keeping the vehicle wet before you do your drying. Alright, let me do the roof and the uh, um, windshield then we'll we'll do a drying on it another video it's hard one hand is when you take it out of your uh, bucket is it ringing out, ringing out a little bit and then we'll go back and forth I mean I could check for scratches on this but this car's are pretty much already got it on. Some scratches down there from work and stuff. My daily driver. I can try this stuff out on a Jeep or the or the Charger. But definitely only use this when it's not really, really dirty. And then since I'm not using the rinse holes, that's why I'm using the two bucket method a lot of times i don't even use a two bucket method method all right let's get to drying i gotta grab my towels keep them safe in the car now for the drying aid we're gonna be using we're gonna be using the detail spray that we made uh oh here comes the boss she's home her jeep's shining You want me in video? How's the Jeep look? It looks beautiful. Thanks to Who you. cleaned it? You did. Dang, it's shining. Wow. Like brand new. It's been 24 hours. Holy cow, that stuff works. That bead maker, maker's on the Jeep. Yeah, it looks really brand new. Wow. It's yeah. slick, too. The bead maker lurks. That stuff was awesome. And you yell at me for buying detail and stuff. Trying a vehicle, I get, doing one panel at a time would probably be the best way. Then it won't dry up. I already started doing there. I did the hood real quick. And then just back and forth. Like you like a detail spray, rub it in there. Now you're going to go through a lot of uh, drying towels. Doing this. I already sprayed this, I already wiped it down with one towel. I usually use two towels per panel. Or two, it's not picking up anymore, drying. But, uh, look at that. Gives it a nice clean shine, too. Plus, two, it's 40 out, so it's not gonna evaporate that quick. Space when you dry it, you're just gonna have to buff it dry with a couple towels. 
to really get it. And we'll flash too. Look at that. Looks pretty good. Now, since I got to do, I already prepped it once. We're going to continue to, we're going to prep it again and do each panel. See how it's already drying out. All right, let me continue. Let me dry this and then we'll get the wash it all dry. It does give a nice smooth feeling. You guys can see for yourself if, there's any, if it created any scratches. Granted, I already had scratches on it. These are old from when I uh, did Dino Wax here and here. So you are going to see some. Those are old. But if we should be able to tell if we created any new ones. I need to buy one of those lights. But, uh, this is the daily driver. It's banged up. Yeah. You got a scratch. This here was already here from the other videos. When I did Dino Wax, we could see. It, it feels pretty slick. All right, let's get this uh, prepping and get this thing done before I lose my light. Reprep it. Do pan out of time. You can see how dirty the vehicle is. My tire's a hit. I want to reprep that just for the heck of it. I'm going to do the fender and the door. Jeep, check that video out with the beat maker. Wow, it's been that thing's shining. That stuff's awesome. I don't know how long it's gonna last. Should do a beating test, but I'm gonna have to get the holes out. And it's chilly. It's supposed to rain Wednesday or this week, and I'll I'll do a beating test when it with rainwater. Time to uh, get our whole May detail spray with wood gains. One way to save some money. One product does all. And since you make it, you can just just throw it on there. Use as much as you want because you got still got a gallon left. Yeah, rinse and wash. You definitely, you know, you're definitely gonna need a lot of drying towels. Then you have to wash them. I use a couple. Okay, after these panels, I'll finish the car and we'll look at the final results. All right. See if I can show you guys how dirty some of it is. We'll do this half, even though I prepped that. Soak it up. Oh, excuse me. So I'm out of breath. Went to the gym already earlier before I did this. Check this out. There you go. All right, I'm gonna dry that off and we'll check out that section. We'll see what it looks wife like. My wife called me when I always started this video. She was getting ready to leave work. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, getting ready to make this video for uh, washing the car without a garden hose. And I washed her Jeep yesterday. And she's like, you didn't do that to my Jeep, did you? I'm like, no, why? And she's like, good. You know, so I was laughing. Like, I'm gonna scratch her Jeep. That. I thought it was fun. I figured I'd share it with you guys. See the dirt on the bottom? 
you see that? How clean it gets. So hopefully you guys can see how dirty the vehicle is. I mean, any dirtier, you're definitely going to want to spray it down. So we got dirt, no dirt, dirt, no dirt. I need to try some po uh, products on polishing this, get better at polishing. But that's the results, a little bit of dirt, no dirt. Looks pretty good. Man, my tire's a hit. I got to get a tire cleaner. I'll get some simple green and do a video on some simple green cleaning up. All right, I'm going to finish it up and we'll go over everything. Keep watching. Hey, hopefully you guys continue to watch. We're all done washing it. All right here's the, the results. We'll do a walk around, check out the hood. Came out pretty good. Got the shine. I even did the wheels. The wheels are kind of faded. It ain't gonna do the best to clean them. I used a brush. Used uh, one of my scrub brushes and then an old uh, a microfiber cyber towel that I, I wouldn't use on the car paint. And I used my uh, brush here just to get as much as I can. This brush is real hard to get in. I need to probably use two brush or need to get a better brush. A couple brushes to get smaller ones. Um, actually, I have one in the garage. It's just it's gonna get trashed next tomorrow anyway at work. We'll take a look at it. Look at the shine. Check it out. So, no garden hose, just buckets. And then Wolfgang, where's this wash? Can't beat it. And don't forget, we used the detailing spray as a drying aid that we made from the Wolfgangs. That's in a different with video. It. So yeah, we uh, that, that's pretty good. I had to stop the dogs are barking. So that's still a lot of product left for uh. Of making a gallon of uh, detail spray that was three ounces in the gallon to make detail spray and then we used two ounces today for the bucket that's almost four gallons a little over than what it recommends remember it recommends for three gallons of water dilute with one ounce of the product start at the top of the vehicle after you wash each panel dry with a towel microsoft towel and continue the method but we used it instead of you can probably dry it without a detailing spray but i read our it's safer to use a detail spray and then dry it in my opinion and then it you know kind of helps from like you're not getting a strap scratches keeps it nice and uh lubricated but that's the results i mean the car is not perfect but it's nice and clean look at that all right that's the final thoughts of that so yeah, hopefully you guys liked the video and uh, check out some of our other ones and uh, subscribe and like. And then every Saturday there's a, a live stream at um, Fab Auto Detail at 9 p.m. And below my link in the description, there's a bunch of channels that have live streams throughout the week. You can check them out. Some of the channels we support, we got uh, Shane Auto and we got a couple other ones. Some of them are detailers, some, a lot of them are mechanics and just get to meet the great people and stuff like that there's a lot of channels on there even on my home page you can look at some of the french channels that follow our channel so um yeah thanks for taking out your time today to watch this video i really appreciate it and if you like to hit that like button subscribe share it for people that uh that may find this product useful for them live in an apartment or winter climates um when it's cold out so, yeah it works great so uh just use this information at your own risk. Um, we're not a sponsored video. We buy our own products also. And uh, just be careful using the products like this. Make sure you prep it. Use uh, detailing spray for a drying aid to uh, minimize those scratches. All right. You guys have a great one later. We'll check the truck car out with the rinse cloth protected. Oh man, she dumped in that water. Can these wash this truck? Switch hands. Jeep looks good. Bam, look how clean it looks.
from the okay raceless wash. There it is. You got a shot of it as I'm taking the trash out. <laughs>